it is an economy that aids God to pass his governance over the, the earth. We can't trivialize the power of this wisdom of God that a man should pray, that a man should pray. Welcome to News Dome with Apostle Simon Giva Edubohen. Apostle Simon Giva is the leader of Travelers Nations and News Dome. His in depth teaching of the Word of God coupled with prophetic signs and miracles will change your life forever. Now, listen to Apostle Simon Giva Edubohen. There are some petty, petty, petty realities that Christians should wake up and begin to know. That there are some things that if they 20 years in your life, God has not delayed. Yeah, you rather delayed it. God knew, God knows nothing about because as far as he's, he's concerned, one of the funny things is that though he created time but he is not bound by time the sons of time and the daughters of time are those that are limited and bound by time so if you are a son or daughter of time that means that you are born into this limit limited life by reason of the curse of the Adamic man you will need to always learn how to plug into the ultimate life of god that spans beyond the limited life are you getting what i'm saying? because the realm he is operating from for example if god tells you that you will become a prophet or you are a prophet that is god speaking from the realm of the ages beyond the ages you can mention speaking from depths beyond the inception and the coming into being of this world imagine how old a common word that a prophet will speak to your life you know that is the that is the beauty of living a spiritual life is anybody getting what i'm trying to say that is the beauty of living a spiritual life that as i'm standing here I am able to plug into the realm of God and would decode and speak a word from his realm to your life and you look down on that word do you know how valuable that word is and as a matter of fact do you know how old that word is but you really it is released as simple as that to you today and then you look down upon it a word that is so old enough to be older than your father who gave birth to you i mean fleshly it is older than your grandmother it is older than the first person that came to settle at your village and that is why if you are revelatory minded or revelational minded or spirit minded person when a word of prophecy comes to you it is easy to have a flow in your life and things begin to turn around but the wicked hearted people who do not value the words of god hey they think god is late in dealing with their situation meanwhile god is not late can you imagine a word i'm telling you today was spoken before i am speaking to you and then you tell me that the god who spoke that word has delayed your marriage the god that spoke that word has delayed you getting a job do you know how old that word is is anybody hearing what i'm trying to say do you know how old the prophetic word concerning your breakthrough do you know how old that word has been hanging and waiting for a manifestation Look at the coming in of Jesus Christ. The Bible said, and the word was made flesh. That means that that word, Jesus, that word that Jesus became bodily was spoken far many, 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 many years before the, this, 
this this whole thing called world was created that word was uttered it was there the bible said in the beginning was the word and the word was with god because the word was god you know how old and i, I mean it will be like that because you see as christians check how we speak like our words are not what do we call it that there is no strength in our words it's like we don't even we don't know that the realm of the spirit is governed by the potency of words as i'm standing here as your apostle and a prophet the strength of whatever i brought to you today is covered weaved garnished covered and 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 wrapped in the words that comes out of my mouth not in visions because at the end of the day every vision that i see i will have to convert it into words for you to understand it otherwise it is a waste so the realm of life is governed by what words it is governed by words and you don't need to play with words if you play you are the type that don't know the value of words it is going to be very obvious that you will never enjoy the prophetic side of god i mean when prophecy you know you will just be walking in the atmosphere like that no power nothing will hit you yeah you'll be standing whilst people are falling under the same action in the same auditorium and you are wondering hey these people what is wrong with them are they okay <laughs> you are wondering if they are okay you don't know what is happening in the atmosphere some people are plugging into words they are activating the words that redefines their destinies they are finding themselves again by hearing the voices of angels some words are flashing through their thoughts and it is occurring to them that the mistakes of yesterday would have been corrected if they knew this today and this is how we are able to live well this is how we are able to what live well why would god almighty living the world leave us a book we call it bible everything in the bible is full of what words are they not words in the bible what do you see in the bible even the the practical happenings of the demonstration of the power of the holy ghost through the, the, the that god wrought by the hands of jesus christ and the apostles and all those these were events however how were they written to us they were given to us in what words they were given to us in what words that is why the most powerful weapon that god delivered to you as a child of god is the weapon of the gospel what is the gospel the preaching of christ jesus and him crucified resurrected ascended unto the father and will come back again these are ordinary words but they are the power of god in first corinthians chapter one the bible said that what the gospel we preach to them that are perishing it is foolishness uh-huh because the gospel we preach is actually inspired word of god that was spoken to happen many years ago if i say yes i'm even limiting the power of the gospel many 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 you can count years far from before the beginning of the world though that means that before the first man was created and formed the words we have been given to preach as christians was already what spoken it was already told it was a mystery among the in the heavenlies hallelujah it was a mystery that kept god what to be what he is and then suddenly god opened the eyes of you because the bible said that these deep things these secret things of god 
he has kept it from the wisest men and women of this world and to them it is presented as what foolishness however those that were claimed to be foolish among men and human beings the bible is saying that they god revealed unto them and therefore the foolishness of god is wiser than the wisdom of this world how can god be a fool how can god be a fool that you should gather one person will stand here and exalt you why do we keep speaking why do we keep speaking we speak not because we are orators we speak not because we are read too much we speak not because we know so much but when we stand here to speak there is something that comes upon us that gives us access to realms that are older than my physical body oh yes so when you enter the house of god and you see a preacher stand before you you know that this is a man that god has released keys onto how could peter know that jesus christ was the son of god he downloaded the bible said jesus looked at him and said peter son of jonas he told him where he's coming from and who gave birth to him he has no qualification by the order of the flesh to have access to the things that he has tapped into and has spoken because they are the unspeakable words of god they were not yet to be told and that is why when jesus went to cast out the devils at any point in time especially at, at the shore of gadara when the demons saw him they said son of god have you come already to destroy us before our time what did jesus say he said that word shut up why because they were speaking of something that is to be told later and the time for that exposition or that uh, st uh, story or event or news was not ready the angel had not yet sounded the trumpet for that news to be given to men and the demons had known they knew they saw him they knew that this is the son of god why because when they saw him they remembered the word in the realm of the spirit that was be has been hanging over the realm for years waiting to manifest and when they saw him they saw the bodily nature of that word even demons and so be a christian when i saw them when me jina hai you are not seeing a word putting on flesh to bring you blessing praise the lord may god give us understanding of his word glory to jesus and so the things that are given to us the things that are commissioned to us as children of god i want to tell you they are not carnal they are spiritually designed because they were given to us through a, the spiritual womb of our predecessors those that were before us they downloaded it when the holy ghost came upon them praise the lord so when you come to church or when you think of yourself as a christian then i beg to say you should not see yourself a carnal man see yourself a spirit walking among the sons of time and the daughters of time so that they may be limited but you have what it takes to break through their limitation david said that i have run through a troop and by my god i have leaped over a wall how could david leap over a wall there was that was an army a troop warfare is going on but he had a way of escaping david told saul that you understand more about military um whatever uh, skills and warfare strategies and because you are the chief in command of the army and every security system in the nation and yet i am here to let you know i have what it takes to defeat goliath this uncircumcised philistine why because in the bush the far back side of the world where uh, the, the community where we live I, I, when i go there to keep my father's sheep there is something that comes upon me each time my eyes behold a bear or a lion or a tiger or any wild beast jumping upon my ship i walk 
towards them. He did not say, I use javelin, I use sword, I use a gun, I use a spear. He said, I go after them and will kill them and bring that sheep out of their mouth. How would David do that? There is something that comes upon a man that even the fiercest things of life, he is not afraid. How do we do that? We do that because we are spirits and we are connected to God who has spoken the word of our life. David knew how he would probably die. Jesus knowing how he would probably die. He was not afraid when people took stones at him. Do you know why? Because he downloaded and each time he plugged into the place where God stood to order him to come to this world. He did not see stones leading him to the grave. He saw himself on a cross. Are you getting what I'm trying to say? Death is a man that is understanding of the things of the spirit. We are spirits and must walk a spiritual walk. The Bible said though our walk is in the flesh but our warfare is not canal. They are mighty through God to the demolition of stronghold. If I stand here and pick a stone, I can order that stone to appear in my mother's house. It is possible. I don't have any time to argue with what somebody will say over here because if I said to you yesterday, if it is possible for a malam to blow a common powder in his hands and by the next morning, there is somebody here that is blind. Then I beg your pardon. Reason with me. Our life here is warfare and therefore how do we do this warfare? Knowing that the people we are battling with do not battle with us in the body we carry but they fight from another side of the divide. I came to let somebody understand this moment that the God whom we have been called unto, he is a spirit and they that worship him must worship him in truth and in spirit. Do not bring theology. Do not bring anything scientific. Don't include any of your agriculture studies and any other thing pertaining to what did you study in school? Engineering and mathematics and, and, and accounting and, and whatever you know. When we are talking about these things, we know the realities of the realm of the spirit. What am I trying to say? God has been hiding long, far, far many years ago from time. So if you are living in time, don't look at your limitation and tell us what is right to do and what is not right to do. When you are bound in time, travel beyond time and you will see the other side of life how to express yourself here because every moment we are walking about in this life you don't know what makes men mad you don't are you getting what i'm trying to say suddenly a young lady that has been born to a family in fact let's say a pastor's son a pastor's daughter and suddenly that person that was growing up from church suddenly has the boldness to put on some things and go almost naked walking around that is a crazy young lady but just that you see she's not mad eating from uh, just beans and baller. Are you getting what I'm trying to say? But she is possessed and mad for the spirit that wants her to be naked. Are you getting what I'm trying to say? In the same manner, if you want to deal with that issue, sitting that young lady down and advising her is not enough. When you want to advise her, let your words that come to her be seasoned with fire. Let your words that will be taught to her be seasoned with power. And that adu valaka tu badika attire just to speak to her for five minutes you have spoken in tongues for one hour when you sit her down as you are speaking to her suddenly you see a demon manifesting out of the young lady and then you realize that no words were spoken from the realm of god it was not spoken from the realm of men are you getting what i'm trying to say when an instruction of the spirit comes to you it comes to you probably as an impression but communicate is not relevant with only an impression unless we are able to understand in human language is anybody hearing me and so when you pick your Bible there are many scenes there are many characters there are many acts that went on in the Bible bear the impressions of God that was laid as a burden in the heart of those that came in contact with spirit and when these men came in contact with spirit the things they downloaded they could not speak it but they did it 
Are, are you getting what I'm trying to say? Because if they had told any man, they would laugh at them. If they had told any man, they would tell them no. If they had told any man, they would say no, no. This is the wrong way of doing it. But once they were impressed by the spirit, their way of communication was to do it. And after doing it and there was a result, these men were bold to now say, this is the way to achieve this. Is anybody getting what I'm trying? Don't enter the premises of God. Don't go to God. Don't enter the arena where God rules and begin to bring us uh, 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 you know tidings from your own understanding we do not lean on our understanding for the man that leans on the flesh the Bible says shall utterly fall and fail and any man that believes and trusts in the flesh the same man the Bible said is cursed why is he cursed he is cursed because not that that day you have leaned on him, but the first man that tried leaning on his own flesh and understanding the curse of God came upon him the name of that man is called Adam do you know Adam was cursed because he began to lean on his own thoughts he began to believe in the things that were not told by God the words that came from other side because the devil why didn't the devil come and show a vision to her but the devil came to speak to her because the power that controls the universe is locked up in what comes out forth from from is anybody getting what I'm trying to say how could God have told you something and then suddenly this young lady heard from the serpent saying to her that look here I'm telling you that thing God told you is a lie the truth is that when you eat the same fruit that he told you not to eat you are going to rather become as he is meanwhile in the revelation of God's thought he said that let us make man in our image and let him be after our likeness is that is that, is that not what the God so how long will it take for a man to become like God man was already God so why would a man change his mind but because he heard something he heard something what are you hearing today I came to let you understand that your alignment with the right words would define a positive tomorrow for you you uh, uh, is giving you an assurance of tomorrow that it will surely not fail let everything collapse as long as god's word concerning you have not come to pass listen listen and listen good what god has said is what is controlling the world and will bring the world to an end no matter who says there is no need for profit there is a need for profit whatever argument is going on in this world today the truth of the matter is that god is still speaking and what he has said is what is going to bring the world to an end is anybody getting what i'm trying to say look for what god is saying and hold on to it and that was how abraham began his whole life this is how Abraham began his whole life. Leaning not on his understanding, but how God is leading. And how is God leading? Always speaking to Abraham. Always speaking to Abraham. Somebody will say, man of God, are you sure you are in line with what you came to tell us? Yes, I'm in line. I've not, I've not left. I'm not far. Because many of you need an understanding of the origins of all of these things that we see across our Christian walk because it is so strange and because we did not pe pe pursue the origins of all these things that are part of our Christian life today when you are doing certain things men will rise at you and they will begin to accuse you for the things that you are doing meanwhile that was the way that the patriarchs went and it went well for them the Bible said through faith not argument no perceptions of their own understanding but through faith they obtain the good report we read about their i'm just wondering i'm just no wonder no wonder paul could not say so much about moses except some few things he said how do you explain that a man will stretch forth his rod on a sea and it opens how do you explain that but he heard from who from God it was a word a strong impression in his spirit are you getting what I'm trying to say there are some of you God has spoken about your life but would you be far and that is why you are not able to act on it because but your spirit is a witness that this thing is so strong in your heart go ahead and do it but you are it's like you are talking to somebody 
some of you are not taking decisions well according to what god has said because of family because of mother because of sister because of auntie because of friends because of bosses at workplace i came to let you know what will really define the best of your life depends on the encounters that we have with god especially by what he says by what god says somebody shout fire fire if we don't understand it this way come in the the journey of our life will be full of misery it will be so miserable until we understand it this way it will be so what miserable now watch this so that you may understand I'm still speaking about altars. I'm still speaking about altars. But the reason I'm coming from this dimension or this direction is very simple. Until children begin to appreciate the culture of their father's house, they are already lost. They are already what? Lost. And they will become praise to the dangerous predator out there. The devil is seeking for whom to what? Devour. He's a predator. The devil is what? A predator. A dangerous, hungry predator. Praise God. The house of God has its own systems. The world under the control of the devil has its own systems but mind you god was and is before the devil came the devil is a creation god is the one that created the devil in Isaiah chapter 54 the bible said i am the lord the, thy god that created the waster to destroy before the devil came god the creator was there and by his hands he created the devil so today you cannot tell me that the things that god himself initiated and that the devil being the creator taking alignment of forming alliance with those things now becomes the originator of those things so that a child of god is not conscious of applying those things because he thinks he saw the devil do it hey <laughs> did you hear from god am i talking to somebody did you hear from god then go ahead if it is not from god then i forbid you but if you heard from god go ahead what then am i trying to say before we pray what i'm trying to say is that the fathers of our faith the fathers of what our faith abraham isaac jacob they live their lives littering themselves about with altars and that was the reason why they were able to traffic angels that was why they were able to meet with spirits that was why elohim himself could appear to him to them and do them that good which they did to them when god appears to tell you anything in your dream some of you have come to me man of god even the dream i had i don't understand and by prophetic insight and the grace of god upon my life to interpret dreams i am able to decode some funny funny dreams that you've been having and it now makes sense after understanding those dreams what do you do a wise christian is supposed to raise an altar to prove that i encountered god and when god spoke to me i understood it that this is what he said and he's about to do because we are trivial when god is speaking that is why i began from how i started with words and the value we have for words the reason our lives are like this is because we don't know how to sustain the what the words that god speaks to us not knowing that his words are life 
what you call life like life i'm living life the life you call you are living life is somebody's word and so when he speaks to you it must be a composition or a component or a texture or a part of the life you are here to live if you don't hold it and you let that word pass you by you are a suffering man nobody can deliver you and so these men by the technology of the spirit realm they understood that oh boy you survive over here if you can raise altars you only survive here if you can raise altars many of you are sitting here you are thinking about getting married have you raised any altar for your marriage many of you are sitting here you are thinking about getting a good job have you raised any altar for the job you are looking for you are thinking about raising good children have you raised an altar for your children you are thinking about any whatever bigger ministry something whatever do you have an altar for the thing that you are praying for Maladu kevala adish kavada ila atuka ezele gevalu mataya walaska divalu katali maduasai we need supreme and supernatural understandings about these things that were done by our fathers we believe you are blessed by this message call our whatsapp apostle simon giva edubwahin on plus two three three two four three one two six seven three five or follow apostle at newsdom on all our social media platforms 